I'm Bill Baeza. Thanks for joining us. The deputy says he arrived just in time before a little boy was beaten to death. Local 2's Jennifer Bauer spoke with that deputy and has the story you'll see only on 2 tonight. Jen. You know, in his 22 years as a police officer, Deputy Gino Benavides says he's never seen anything quite like this. A six-year-old little boy beaten so badly, he feared for his life. Deputy Gino Benavides was in his Precinct 1 patrol car doing police work at this Southwest Houston apartment complex when something got his attention. This sound was like no other sound I've ever heard. The deputy determined it was coming from this upstairs apartment. He realized the cries were coming from a child inside. It was worse than a cry. It was a it was a sound that it was just horrifying. The deputy demanded the man inside open the door and he wanted to see the kid. Benavides tells us a six-year-old little boy walked out without a shirt. His body covered in lacerations, bumps and bruises, even welts from a metal belt buckle. It's pretty devastating. Um, the 22-year police veteran chokes up talking about it. I really believe that he would have killed this, this, this young man if we hadn't stopped. Police arrested Lamar Harris. He's been with a felony. He told police he was disciplining the boy, his girlfriend's son. The six-year-old had apparently gotten in trouble at school and was now getting in trouble at home. The boy's mom spoke to Local 2 about the allegations. I don't think he meant to to hurt him. I don't think he, he even tried to abuse him. Fernanda Rodriguez is now home alone. Her boyfriend is behind bars and all three of her children have been removed by CPS investigators. Deputy Benavides thinks it's a blessing he was in the right place at the right time. I think it's an appointment. I believe uh, we're placed in different uh, scenarios for a reason. Now, the boy's mother was not home when all of this happened. Besides the six-year-old boy, she also has a seven-year-old son and a three-month-old son who are now staying with their grandmother. CPS does continue to investigate this case. That six-year-old boy, we are told, was kept overnight at the hospital for observation. His mom says he is going to be okay. We're live tonight downtown at the jail. Jennifer Bauer, KPRC, Local 2. Jennifer, thank you, ma'am. Lamar Harris, it turns out, had just gotten out of prison last year. He was there doing time for aggravated sexual assault of a 13-year-old girl. Right now, he's being held in the Harris County Jail without bond. It was one of the warmer days of the...